Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to P Diner Royally Teachable Moments. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Say hi, Mr. Odious. Hi, hello. He says hello, 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 hello. So, have you heard? Have you heard? Yes. Well, it looks like President Biden is going to be visiting King Charles. We have found time in the schedule to meet with the king. They're going to be meeting. I think that is awesome. 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 Now, what does this say about your relationship with the president, Prince Harry? Hmm. What does it say? <laughs> huh? So we know that Prince Harry has a relationship with President Biden. They've been, they've been seen together. We know that there is something there. But I think it says a lot that Harry is not recently been within the confines of the president, the president of the United States. But yet he is meeting with the king of England, Harry's father. He's going to. So President Biden is going to be traveling to London for some engagements with King Charles and Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to further strengthen the close relationship between our nations. Then after that, the president is going to be traveling to uh, Lithuania for the NATO summit and Helsinki, Finland for a U.S. Nordic leader summit. And the visit comes nearly two months after King Charles's May coronation, and it will mark Biden's second meeting with a uh, sitting British monarch during his presidency. So this, what is, this is what it says to me, that Harry's relationship or what Harry's doing in his nonsense is it means literally nothing because the president is meeting with people who have real power or real say in world relations. Harry and his wife, they can go kick rocks because what you're doing is a bunch of nonsense. You're out there just running around, just trying to create havoc for your own self wealth. But the king and President Biden are doing things that are on a world stage that are meaningful to the world and us bringing people together to strengthen relationships in this world because we know we need to strengthen these relationships and get along and not create havoc for the safety and well-being of us all as citizens and when you look at what Harry and Meghan are doing they're a bunch of wackadoos out there creating some nonsense trying to uh, not strengthen once again relationships for their own self-wealth so, 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 so we don't want nothing to do with you and your nonsense. You keep going out there doing things that are going to try to get you your money. And we have people that are being meaningful in their actions and their relationships. And this is why I think on the greater scale of this whole debacle of Harry and Meghan, they're not going to get the support that they need to further enrich themselves because, they are nothing but divisive people and their work is meaningless to us average people. And also, did you hear that Meghan and Harry, they left a memento for those seeking to go move into Frogmore Cottage after they were living there? I think they are just so ridiculous because I would look at like that as being not a good thing because we saw how it worked out for them living in Frogmore Cottage. The, the disaster that they left on the British people and the family of the royal family. I mean, it's like if you're getting that from them, would you be thinking, oh, I don't know if I want this because, yeah, because they're now reportedly saying that they blame bad luck on all of the things that have happened to them. <laughs> and then you're li you're looking to live in Frogmore Cottage and you get something from them wishing them all the happiness in the world and suddenly their stank is on you. <laughs> and you're like, I don't want this. Why are you leaving this for me? <laughs> I don't want your good luck because you don't have no good luck. You don't have anything that I want. So living in that house after Harry and Meghan is not a good thing unless you're just trying to just go in and have somebody cleanse the place because it's no, no one wants your good wishes because your good wishes don't mean anything. If anything, your good wishes ain't nothing but a bunch of bad luck to the next person that is going to be moving in there. So, so just save it. Stop trying to have this goodwill and to show that you're meaning the best for people because we all know they don't really mean the best for anybody. 
it, it's all about what they can do that is going to elevate them. And they're really not trying to pass on any goodwill to anybody because they don't they never really truly leave behind any goodwill. So if I if I was that person receiving that from them, I'd be like, uh, uh OK, I'm not moving in this place. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. This right here is a sign of things to come that I just don't want to have to deal with. But hey, they'll just keep doing what they do. And until they start to do things differently and to show that they have better intentions about their relationships with people, because it all stems on their relationships, how they interact with people. And it's it's never a good thing. Have you ever noticed that when you look at Harry and Meghan and all that they do, it stems from the root of the relationships that they have with people? And that is the cause. And, and the one thing that you I'm sure you already know this, but relationships with people and how you make people remember you is everything. And I can't imagine that people are really remembering good things about this couple because of all the drama that they have caused. I, I'd steer clear of this couple and anything that they want to pass on to anybody that, that receives things from them is just like, just stay away. Just stay away. Don't want nothing to do with you. Well, it looks like Megan is going to be using One Stop Publishing for her book. Now, we know that she has this book coming out with Omit Scoby that she has something to do with. Omit, we know, was in Los Angeles. He's doing this book called Endgame. But there's another book. And the publisher of this book is going to be One Stop Publishing. This girl is getting ready to cause some serious damage. She, she's not going to fall down without a fight. Trust me, <laughs> this girl is going out kicking and screaming. So the book is going to, well, it was supposedly supposed to be released in August. Now it has been postponed to November. So not only is the end game book coming out in November, so is Megan's book is supposedly going to be coming out in November. And this is the difference between this publisher they do not care if what she is saying is a lie. This is the key thing about this publisher. They do not care if everything that she is saying in this book is a lie. The royal family should be very concerned about this because we know this girl is very loose with the truth and the things that are swirling around in her head. <laughs> she didn't lost all reality with the truth. And she will put things in this book that are going to cause the royal family a big monumentous headache. You can count on that. It has been proven in court. We know that Megan is not one to tell the truth, even to the courts. So if she's not able to tell the truth to a court of law, what makes you think she is going to be honest and tell the truth in a book with a publishing company that does not care if she is telling lies or not. And this is how they're banking on making their money because people are going to want to know whether or not what she is saying in the book is true, whether or not it's a lie. They are going to definitely make money from this book. So the curiosity about what she's going to say and the fact that a lot of people look to her and are definite fans of her are going to want to buy the book. It is going to make money for the publishing company. So for them, it doesn't matter if this book is going to be factual or not. The fact that people are going to want to know what she's uh, saying is going to make this book sale. It's being reported to me that they're currently looking for a newspaper that wants to serialize the book. They haven't found anyone that wants to do that just yet, but they are looking to find a newspaper that is going to serialize this book and to help it to garner more publicity. And of course, they're going to have to pay to do that. So they're still waiting to see if they can find someone that's going to want to pay the money to serialize the book. We'll have to wait and see because, you know, Megan's going to want the money to do that. And this is why her writing this book is so beneficial for her because of the most recent deal with Spotify being shut down and not having the money that she had hoped to be getting. She's going to go in even stronger on this book coming out. And they're also alleging that the new version of Spare that is going to be coming out is going to have information of Harry's time during the King's coronation. We know that he has some issues. His wife didn't show up. 
he's going to have things that he's going to want to say and he's going to be putting these things allegedly in a new paperback version of Spare. And have you seen this most recent publicity stunt that they've done where they were out and about holding hands and, uh, you know, people are saying that they're happy and they're, you know, things are good with this marriage. And we know that they had contacted Backgrid to release these photos. And what is so interesting about these photos that were released, Carl Larson was the photographer. Now, we do know that Carl also had a YouTube channel with Thomas Markle Sr. So I'm a little puzzled on this. Not quite sure how it all works, but we have to dig a little bit deeper into how is it that Carl Larson is going out taking photos for Megan and also running a YouTube channel with Thomas Markle Sr. Not sure how that works, but I'm going to try to get to the bottom of this and figure out well, what's going on, because I think answers are required. Definitely answers are required. Now, what I do think could be the case is, is that Carl Larson is someone who is in the business of putting news stories out there. He could be neutral in that he's working with Thomas Markle and also maybe he's just working with the Sussexes or working with Backgrid to take photos of the Sussexes when they are out to do his job on a very neutral, you know, platform. I don't know how neutral you can be when the parties that he's being neutral on behalf of are not speaking to each other. So it begs the question, have they started speaking now? Is Megan in contact with her father? I don't know, but it makes you question. And I think that answers have to be given about Carl Larson and his sudden connection now with taking photos for the Sussexes for Megan in particular, because it doesn't look right. And I think you have to be upfront about your intentions. So if Carl Larson is definitely on a neutral platform with these two parties, he needs to come out and explain it. Now, like I've always said, there are a large number of people who are oblivious to these things, these behind the scenes stories. They don't know anything about Thomas Markle and his YouTube channel with Carl Larson. They don't know nothing about Carl Larson taking photos for Bad Grid that has been sent out to take publicity photos of Harry and Meghan. There's a large segment of people to them, it's just photos. It's just photos that they see that were taken by a photographer and okay. But for us who watch my channel and others, we know that there's some wrong, 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 wrong here. And, and, and that's what we need to get to the bottom of. And I'll see what I can find out. I don't know, but I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt that Carl Larson is just on a neutral playing ground with all of this, but we need some answers. We need some answers and just going really quickly to these photos of Harry and Megan, where they try to show us that they are this happy couple. Uh, let me just say something. I don't even see them holding hands in this photo, but this story is saying that they are sharing a laugh and a joke in Santa Barbara as they are spotted for the first time since it emerged they ha that they have handed over the keys of Frogmore. Um, and I find it interesting that you're telling us that you all smiles. Well, can't we just see you smiling? <laughs> they gotta tell us in the headline that you're smiling. We can clearly see your forced smile, Miss Megan. Harry, I don't even really see smiling. I just see him looking straight ahead with some sunglasses on, just thinking, okay, let me hold your hand, <laughs> you know, for the photos. But I don't even see them physically holding hands. It's implied that they are holding hands. And the story really is just about that. And it goes on to say that it is unknown what business the pair have been visiting in the complex, which houses several firms. And so it is the first time the couple who were accompanied by an unidentified man presumed to be a member of their security detail have been spotted since the pair officially vacated the cottage at the request of King Charles III. And I just was thinking, yeah, Harry and Meghan, they don't have a home anymore in the United Kingdom. And Harry's brother, 
Prince uh, Char Prince William is looking to end homelessness. So here you look like you're going to be homeless <laughs> in the United Kingdom. So you gonna have to go see your brother the next time you are in the United Kingdom to even try to find a place to stay because you don't even have a place to stay anymore in the United Kingdom. I mean, essentially, you're homeless in the United Kingdom and your brother is trying to end homelessness. You know, you go figure who would have thought, folks. Who would have thought this is just some crazy wackery is all I'm, t I'm thinking with this. These two brothers, I mean, more so Harry, we know because we know Prince William, he's got it together. He and his wife, they are just class all the way. So, Harry, you, you just live in your American life. OK, go live the American dream and let's see how it works out for you as a foreigner with a wife who is trying to find all kind of celebrity and wealth in this very superficial lifestyle that she is looking to garner much publicity from. I, I just don't see it working out for you. And then the article goes on to say that they appear to be in great spirits. They left the office building and they walked to their car. Uh, you know, they talk about what Megan was wearing, Harry's what he's wearing. They were sharing a joke and a laugh despite the recent eviction and apparent misfortunes in the entertainment industry. Um, Buckingham Palace also confirmed one day before the couple Santa Barbara outing that they have finally vacated Frogmore. I mean, and this is a whole story. And the only person we really see laughing and smiling is Megan. <laughs> I know she like, Harry, smile. Smile, Harry, smile. Try to look like you're at least having fun and I'm telling you a joke, do something. Like she couldn't have been happy with these photos because I'm looking at this thinking, okay, you know what, Harry, you got some problems because you don't look too happy to me in these pictures, but the headlines are saying that you're happy. So, okay, I guess you're happy, right? Megan with that big stupid smile on her face and you just, you just looking for attention. You just looking for people to take your picture. It's like, okay, I'm ready for my close up. It's, it's like, she's always ready for her close up. She's always ready to have her photo taken because the pretentiousness of this woman just oozes out of her pores. <laughs> it's just, okay, we watching you pretentious. Yeah, you just want us to think you happy. Okay, we looking. <laughs> I guess you happy. I guess.